Hi, welcome to episode 1 of Blaw Analyzes Stories and Explains Dumbly, or BASED for short. Maybe the only episode, who knows? Today, Payday 2. Payday 2 is a game that originally follows four bank robbers who also really happen to like clowns. We've got Dallas, well known for his love of medic bags and not being from Texas. We've got Chains, who is well known for being in a pickle and his friendship for John Wick. Yes, really, it'll be important later, trust me. We've got Wolf, well known for draining the mongoose and not being a healthy human being. And finally, we've got Hoxton, who is, well... Wait. Wait a damn second here, you're not Hoxton from Payday 1 at all. That dude was British, and you're American. Who's under that mask? Oh, it's Dallas' little brother, Houston. That's cute. Okay, fine, you get to be Hoxton. That dude is in prison anyways and needs someone to fill the role. You'll do just fine. And, of course, you can't forget their best buddy, Bane, who nobody knows a damn thing about. But it's fine because he's got some killer connections and is generally a pretty cool dude. Bane and his four merry heisters are coming off strong from their rampage in New York from Payday 1. If you forget about the part where Old Hoxton got busted and is in big trouble. So after a short break, Bane says, hey crew, how about we go fuck up Washington DC so we can make mad cash and also maybe send a message and change the world for the better and all that. Yeah, okay, I guess it sounds a little hopeful, but sure. Here you go crew, here's a jewelry store to rob. Oh wow, cool. Here guys, here's some small banks to rob. Wow, Here you go Ramblers, a crazy Ukrainian dude who just got out of prison and wants to reclaim his status as a legend in the criminal underworld. Oh, what? Uh, I mean, okay, I guess. It's cool, he's gonna pay us to do some stuff and he'll get us some even better connections later. Hooray, yay! Vlad gives a bunch of jobs that are really simple and to the point. Go steal a bunch of money from these stores because they're dealing with people I don't like. Okay. Go fuck up this mall because the owner isn't giving me enough protection money. Okay. Go steal from this nightclub because it belongs to some asshole who isn't my friend anymore. Okay. Go steal this tiara that same asshole friend needs for his wedding. Okay. You guys are doing great. Good job. Now here's another dude we can do jobs for. We thought he was pretty cool back in the day but never really got to work with him. So this is a great opportunity. His name is Hector and he's totally not a rat fuck and absolutely has our best interests at heart. Hector job number one. Go travel with a whole ass load of coke and make sure nothing happens to it. Uh, okay, no problem, Hector. Whoa, a police ambush, no way, how could this happen? Whoa, another police ambush at the docks. <laughs> Whoa, and a boat driver with a suspiciously low capacity in his boat. Damn, that all really sucks, but it's okay, we managed. Okay, Hector, we did it. Huh? Uh, how did you... Uh, okay, fuck it. Hector job number two. Go steal weapons from this cartel I don't like at their heavily defended airports. Uh, then go storm into an FBI building and steal information on that cartel from FBI servers. And then, uh, oh, okay, yeah, after that, go burn all the cartel's money in the bank. Oh, 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 and make sure you film yourselves doing it. Yeah, yeah, that'll be good. Okay, Hector, all done. Why won't you die? What next? You Box. Okay. Hector job number three. Go to this house in the middle of the woods where the police will reach you in an unbelievably quick time. And once you're there, you need to stay a while and cook a shit ton of meth. Just keep cooking. Then after that, go trade the meth for information on the shitty cartel I don't really like with a really, really, really sketchy gang that nobody likes to deal with. Then you're gonna go kill all the remaining members of that cartel for me. And I promise they totally won't be defended by an FBI escort, Tiki. Okay, Hector, it's done. All right, to hell with this. Have a nice life. I give up. Well, he seemed like a nice guy. Moving on. Introducing the elephant. He's called the elephant because he's a Republican. Fun fact. You'd think that might be obvious, but it took me a couple fucking years to realize. Remember that part where Bane wanted to make a positive impact on the world? Well, too bad. I'm going to need you to steal this fusion engine that would revolutionize the world because it cuts out the need for oil. And I think oil is based and fusion engines are cringe. And then you're gonna go steal a bunch of art so that we can rig it up to spy on the senator I don't like and ultimately plant a fuck ton of coke in his apartment and steal all of his gold because gold is based and politicians are cringe. Well, okay, maybe he has a point on this one. Yeah, Alright, um, that all ventured in some gray areas. Let's just go steal from a diamond store next. Yay! Okay, crew, here's the shot. We steal from armored transports in the middle of open streets. Uh, it, yeah, I don't... And then we do it four more times. Uh... And then we steal from a train. Yeah, okay, let's just move on. This all is kind of stinky. Okay, okay. How about this? 
we steal from a bank, you know, the one from Counter-Strike Global Offensive, we'll call it Go Bank because crossovers are epic. We're gonna be doing lots of those, better start now right? Fine fuck you guys then, go do another elephant job. Hello gang, this is my friend Bob, Bob McKendrick. He's pretty cool. You're gonna get him into office. Whoa, we're gonna become a campaign team and leave the life of crime behind? No idiots, you're gonna cheat and rig machines for him. Okay, beep boop beep. Wow, we did it. America sure is a shithole. Oh hey crew, I forgot to mention, we know this cool guy Gage, he's in a wheelchair, not really relevant just wanted to share. He gives us lots of weapons and wants us to go steal from this murky water warehouse. Murky water? Yeah, that sounds like some lame one-off organization that we'll never see again. Yeah, sure, we can do that. Dallas, it's time for your annual dental checkup. Okay, Dad. Man, I fucking hate the dentist. Hello, I am that guy from Breaking Bad. I am not your normal dentist. You can call me the dentist. I know about your friend Hoxton. You left him behind. How did it feel? I can help you break him out. But you must help me first, because I need my payday, too. What do you think, gang? Should we work with him? Eh, it's probably not a great call. Well, too bad! We want Hoxton back! Dentist job number one! The Benevolent Bank. It has a long history, though has never been robbed. It is notoriously tight security. You need a professional crew to pull off such an absurdly difficult job. You'll need pre-planning and perfect finesse and excellent... Oh, you're already done. Dentist job number two, Hotline Miami. The Russian Commissar. He has a long history, though has never been killed. He has notoriously tight security. You need a professional crew to track him and... Oh my, you lot are fast. All right, fine, let's go save your friend. But wait, first John Wick has to save Chain's life and join the crew. Pew, great, that was easy, welcome to the team. All right, let's go break Hoxton out. That swell dentist fellow has him getting moved, so if we just blow up this wall right here. Yo! Hey, Hoxton. The fuck is this then? Uh, sorry, sir. I'll be Houston now. You can have your mask back. Nah, fuck you, Anka. I have my own new one. I don't want your shitty mask. Hey, also, guess what? Some bastard ratted on me, and we're gonna. Wolf, pay attention! We're gonna find out who it was. Let's go raid an FBI building. Yeah, okay. Hmm, this isn't conclusive, but we'll get to the bottom of this eventually. Knock knock, who's there? Oh, it's Vlad. What do you want, you fucking lunatic? Hi, my brother-in-law crashed his plane, fucked up on my coke. You go save him in my coke, please, and thank you. Oh, Alright, how can we send Nate to you, you little scam? Dentist job number three! Wait, we are still on the hook with you? Yes. Okay, fine, what do you want? The diamond. It has a long history of being cursed or some shit, and is housed in the McKendrick Museum. Wow, same joke three times in a row, that's creative. Also, who's that? Oh, that's my friend Clover, she's cool and stealthy and stuff, she's in the gang now. Okay, well, I'll be back to bother you later, bye! Hello, Payday Crew. I am the Butcher. Please take my friend Dragon and go steal bombs for me and I will give you lots of weapons in return. Oh wow, sounds fun, I'm sure these will be super memorable heists that everyone will love. Man, they're just letting anyone into the Payday crew nowadays, huh? Alright, how about Jacket from Hotline Miami while we're at it? And hey, here's this lady named Bonnie who says she has info on the rat who fucked over Hoxton, but will only give it over if she's allowed into the gang. Ah, okay, you seem okay. But first, hey guys, it's me, your old buddy Bane. How about you guys go steal some really nice cars from the Tour Auto dealership? Whee, okay, that was fun, epic. Now can we focus, please? Yeah, okay, right, sorry. Here's the house we found. We think the rat's in there. Let's go in and exterminate the rat. What? Hector? Outrageous. How could this be? He was such a nice and trustworthy guy. Man, what the f Who's there? Oh, it's Vlad again. Yeah, hello, friends. I need you to go steal from the shitty murky water warehouse. You know, the Shadow Raid one. Oh, okay, for sure. That ought to be straightforward. We've done that before. Let's see what we have here. What? What the fuck? Bad plan. Bad. Hey, Alessa was having a concert at a venue that doubles as a Gensec vault. The fuck? That doesn't make sense. What a stupid decision. Let's go rob it. Let's use C4, break into the vault under the cover of Alessa's music, even though the concert is all the way the fuck over here, and the vault is all the way the fuck over here. Seriously, how the fuck does this work? This is so stupid. Dentist job number four! The Golden Grin Casino. You're going to the Vegas Strip to go rob this horribly small and 
horribly underpopulated casino because we built this game on an ancient and underpowered engine. Gang wait that vault is too big and too tough for you chumps. Here take this Russian guy and this fat ass drill and get into that shit. Wait, what is this Illuminati ass box? I don't know, but it's literally the only thing the dentist wants in here, so I guess let's not ask questions and take all this cash for ourselves, yay! I'm gonna pause here real quick because I find it valuable to inform you that while I'm obviously being very joking about this and passing over details here or there quite often and exaggerating a few things, everything that I've said up to now and will continue to say going forward at least has some level of accuracy to it. I tell you this because this little bullshit box is going to lead into a whole load of bullshit later. A Pandora's box of bullshit, if you will. But before we talk anymore about this bullshit box, we have to talk about this bullshit box. It's a loot box. Yeah, Payday did loot boxes in case you didn't know. In fact, you even steal them for Vlad in this heist right here. Kind of a stinky one, not gonna lie. Kind of stinky boxes. Good. Get them out of here. Okay, gross. Oh, also, now the gang has this Japanese guy. He doesn't speak any English, but the pager operator doesn't seem to mind at all. <laughs> hey, wait, that Bob McKendrick guy got this other guy, Garrett, to become police commissioner. This Garrett guy really hates the Payday gang, so he brings this big old butthole Captain Winters and his merry men into the fray. Wow, what the hell, Bob? Not cool, dude. Uh oh. CrimeNet is getting hacked. What? He wants to talk with us? Alright, what do you want, you cute little asshole? Hello, friends. I am from Murky Water, but also, fuck Murky Water. All my homies hate Murky Water. You will help me steal from them, or I will shut down CrimeNet, yes? Also, here, take my friend Bodhi to help you. I believe him, gang. He'll do it. Best get to work. We're gonna work with this guy. Alright, let's go steal from this mountain base for him. Wee! Yay! And let's also steal from this mid-flight plane for him. Wee! Yay! Man, I really wish this lock guy would stop asking me if you fucking stupid the entire time though. He's kind of a jerk. Knock knock. Christmas, motherfuckers! Go make coke now! And then when you're done with that, I also know of a bunch of goats with coke stuffed in them. So go steal the goats while I make really annoying goat sounds of you the whole time. You think we should still be hanging out with this black guy? He's, he's getting weirder and weirder, man. This guy's unhinged. Speaking of unhinged, it's Hardcore Henry time! It's me, the elephant. I have a job for you. There's this guy, Akon. Akan? I don't know. Fuck it. He wants some top secret information from some top secret Russian lab. Also, he's got like, telekinetic powers or something. I guess. Right? Yes? It's, yeah, no, that's, that's right. So you better take this job seriously. Yeah, right, elephant. Telekinetic powers, you're out of your mind. Oh, really, Dallas? It's me, Akan, or Akon. I don't, I still don't know. Um, bet. Oh, no. Well, I better go discuss this with my crew. Oh, no, who are you, and why are you holding my crew hostage? Hey, I'm Chad Jimmy. I want you to not work for Akan, Akon, fuck it, and work for me instead. Uh, do you have telekinetic powers? No. Oh, okay, we'll pass then. How about now that I'm Coke Jimmy? What the fuck? Yeah, um, okay. Great, this will be easy. Watch this. We sneak into this train station so we can steal an EMP bomb. Then we eat that EMP bomb at this Russian lab, go scan a bunch of dead bodies, and then leave! Wow, that was easy. Thanks, Jimmy. Feel free to hang around if you want. Let's go rob this bank real quick. What? Who was that lady? How did she steal back from us? Damn, we better invite her to the crew, too. Whoa, a brain-computer interface. Elephant, you have to help us get that. Okay, I mean, you guys kind of fucked me on that whole Akon, Akon thing, but sure. You're gonna have to help this Rust guy, though. He wants to backstab his biker buddies in exchange for information, and also let him into your gang, thanks. Hey guys, let's build my bike. Okay, now let's go rob this train. Cool. Have you guys seen Hellboy? Safe house improvement time! Thanks, Hoxton! Everyone gets their own rooms! Yeah, yay! Uh-oh, police found us! Don't worry, we'll just kill them and smooth it over and cover it up somehow! Yay! Christmas! Go into mall, find my brother-in-law, beat the shit out of him, make him tell you about presents, loot them all, fingers out of assholes, go, 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 go! Man, he's not even asking anymore! Okay, fine, fuck, dude. Hello, it's me, the Butcher. You know, the one who sent you on those really fun and amazing bomb heists. 
These Sosa Cartel bastards are cutting off my trade routes in Miami. I need you to go kill their leader right here. Man, what a mansion. That place is awesome. Yes, hello. I'm Scarface. Let me help you. Scarface? What? No, that guy's dead or something, I think. I don't know. I've never seen the movies. I, I, whatever, I guess. We have all sorts of bizarre characters from different pieces of fiction here. Why the fuck not? Ring ring, it's us, the Continental. The one from John Wick or something. I don't know, these crossovers get confusing, and also I've never seen John Wick either. We need you to go save our guy from New York. Wow, Payday Gang, thanks for saving me from that trouble in New York. Here, let me scratch your back now. That Bob McKendrick fellow is having a fundraiser for his re-election campaign on this yacht. You can go steal all his re-election money there. We'll call it Yacht Heist. Yes, wonderful. Yeah, we hate Bob. Bob sucks. Dear friends, it's me, Luck. Crime that is in big trouble unless you go mess up that Matt Roscoe fellow, yeah? Mmm, Matt Roscoe, you say? That dude was in the first game. Okay, so why don't we take this mission about Matt Roscoe from the first game and put it over here? No, wait, let me live. I'll tell you everything, including about Jiro's son that he came to the US to find. Nani? Oh, so that's what Jiro is doing here. Okay, sure. Okay, Roscoe says that a prisoner is being transferred across this bridge and can tell us more, so if we just blow up the bridge like so... And kidnap the prisoner like so... Okay, great. What can you tell us? Uh, Jiro's son is with the Yakuza? Well... Now what? Mm, dear friends! I need your help escorting a weapons deal in Alaska. The Butcher will be there too, it'll be fun! Yeah, okay, sure, why not? Sounds like an easy job. Haha, -ha, just kidding. Fuck you, friends. I have sold you out. Have a nice life! Wow, what a douche. Yeah, I hate that guy. Introducing Duke. He's a really smart and really rich dude who has been robbing places around DC. Why not invite him to join us? Maybe he'll know a thing or two about bullshit boxes down the road. Who knows? Hmm, and weren't some other characters added around this time? Oh, I swear there were. Oh, man, who was it? Oh, it's, right. it's right on the tip of my tongue. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't know. I can't remember. It must not have been very important or interesting. Drama alert! Locke has financial ties to the Garnet Group. Oh, shit, we should go rob that place to get back at him. Epic. Well, that was fun. How about we go do it again in LA this time? Okay, cool. Let's go. Good work, friends. Now, here's how we're going to secure those diamonds that you stole. Wait a second. Hey, you're that shithead from Alaska. You sold us out. Haha, <laughs> yes, I did. That was funny. I'll explain later. Okay, fine, but what do you mean the diamonds we stole? We didn't steal anything yet. We just got here. And where's Bane? Oh, we're doing some weird out of chronological order bullshit here, huh? Whoa, cool diamond store. Easy hit. Oh, no. Guys, I think they found me. I'm gonna go get kidnapped now. Trust lock, it'll be okay, I promise LMAO. Well, okay, lock, I guess we have to trust you now. What next? <sighs> Dear friends, we need to go to the Brooklyn Bank. There will be some extra sick loot in there, for sure. Whoa, what's this neat medallion? Give that here, simpleton, I'll figure this out. Warning, this is where shit starts to get a little wild because, oh yeah, it's secret society time. Duke lets his friends know that everything going on is starting to smell an awful lot like the Kataru. What's the Kataru, you ask? Well, quite simple, really. They're just this shadow organization that has been shaping the progress of mankind for tens of thousands of years. And also, they're governed by three kings, fun fact. You remember that crazy little bullshit box back from the Golden Grin? Yeah, long story short, the dentist really needing his hands on that My just suggest he's one of those tens of thousands of years old kings. Uh-oh, we've gotten wrapped up in shady business. Mm, dear friends, the elephant has been arrested. The FBI took something from him that he needs us to get back. Go break into their office and steal it back from Garrett, but no killing him, because I said so. What? The elephant had one of these boxes too? Damn, he's a secret society king too. Who do you think the third is? Place your bets now. Dear friends. We need more loot from Murky Walter to finish piecing this puzzle together, yeah? Old Locke is going to send you out to Henry's Rock. Go steal more boxes or whatever. And let's get out of here. Wait a second. Is that your son? And is that the dentist? And is that Bane? What in the goddamn is going on here? Alright, so we have all these boxes, but how do we open them? 
Smart Duke to the rescue! He uses his fancy Brooklyn Bank medallion to open all the boxes, revealing some sort of artifact pieces, but one of the boxes is empty. What the hell is that about? Hey guys, it's me, the Elephant. Thanks for getting that box back and all. You know, I've heard about this weird and zany auction happening out in Salem soon. Might want to go check it out. There might be some missing box contents or something out there. Who knows? Haha. <laughs> Friends, this sounds like a difficult mission. You better take Joy. She is hands down the cringiest and most annoying human being I have ever met. Good luck, have fun. Oh, shit! Can a you get Hey! Shit! Hey! 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 Ah, he was right. There was this weird hexagon thing. Time for Big Brain Dude to get back to work while the Monkey Brains go and save Bane from this prison that the elephant just conveniently told us about. Man, that guy sure does know a lot. Whoa, it's Bane! Let's get you out of there, buddy! No, wait, Bane, come back! Whoa, Bane! You just killed Jiro's son! That's badass, dude! By the way, the dentist is taunting the crew over the intercom the whole time while this is happening and talks about the elephant and Vlad. So if you guessed that Vlad was the third king of the world, pat yourself on the back because I don't know who the fuck could have guessed that shit. Also, it may not actually be him, this is just conjecture by the payday community. Uh, uh, also, Bane, you're not looking so good, dude. What do they do to you? Well, gang, remember that one time that we stole an unknown virus from a hospital and Murky Water was really, really unhappy about it? Yeah, I think I am fucked. Oh, shit. We better get to work on the biggest heist of all time, then. Yep, time to rob the White House. Of what, you ask? Oh, just 24 presidential pardons signed by Abraham Lincoln and still valid to this day. Is, is that is that how this works? We steal those and put our names on them and we're good to go? Okay, I guess. Good job, guys. I can die now. Okay, bye. <laughs> yes, Bane's dead now. It's very sad. That sucks. The end. But wait! What if it didn't go like that and it went like this instead? Whoa, guys! Big Brain Duke figured it out! By playing a specific melody on Scarface's piano in the next room over, suddenly all the artifact pieces started coming together, and on the hexagon, 20 different coded phrases were produced. Using a cipher to understand these, you get very verbose versions of 20 achievements in Payday 2. And let's say theoretically, that you, the player, have done all 20 of these achievements. What would happen? Well, you would theoretically make a painting in the White House start glowing. Better go theoretically rob that place again. Okay, alright, in we go. What the fuck? There really is a glowing painting in there. What's this all about? Better take it off the wall and blow up the weak looking wall behind it. A mine shaft leading to an elevator? This is some Scooby Doo kind of bullshit going on back here. Alright, let's see where it leads. A giant door with more code on it. Riddles? Oh man, fuck. Okay, let's spend 20 to 30 minutes working through this shit. Okay, great. Man, this is some real Illuminati vibes in here. Dentist job number five! Blow this guy's fucking head off once he shows up holding Bane and Locke hostage because his overconfidence is laughable and he brought no real self-defense, yet somehow thought he could bully you into giving this huge-ass vault to him. Good job! Now if we just put these gold bars all over the place in here for reasons I quite frankly don't understand... Beach party! Good job everyone, we did it! We killed the dentist and saved the world from spooky, scary seeker organizations! News alert! The president has awarded Commissioner Garrett for his excellent work against the Payday Gang. Wow, what a hero! And when asked what comes next for the world, he had this to say. Let's do this. Holy shit! What we did in the vault made Bane take over the president's body or some wild shit like that? At least we assume so because Bane always said let's do this and it seems really uncharacteristic for a president to say let's do this? Yeah, okay, fuck it, I'm down, I don't even want to ask questions, I almost cried when that dude died. And that's really the end. There's some shit that happens in the DLCs that came after. Those take place sometime between Hell's Island and the White House, but as I understand, they mostly just involve spreading the influence of the Payday Gang. Silk Road focuses on silly antics between Locke, Vlad, and Vlad's brother-in-law as Sangris, Glover, Sydney, and Sokol take down the Co Co Coyopa? I, I think I had that right. Gang in Mexico. Uh, City of Gold brought Bonnie, Dragon, Rust, and Joy out to the West Coast to make connections and take down a triad leader there after saving Vlad from nearly being tortured to death. And Texas Heat will probably involve Jacket and Jacket alone stealing the sun right out of the Texas sky. I don't know, it's not out yet. If anything of terrible importance happens along the way in these, I'm not sure it's known to us as players yet, but feel free to call me a raging idiot in the comments if you think or know otherwise. I hope you enjoyed this massively oversimplified rundown of Payday 2's story. 
This was largely meant to be comedic, so I hope you got to have a laugh or two, but also informative for people who don't feel like deep diving into the lore themselves. The story, as presented here, was to my own understanding and comprehension and largely follows the release order of the DLCs. It's hard to know the correct chronological order of everything here for sure though, because uh, career mode in game runs through things in a slightly different order, but those differences are minor in the greater scheme of things. If you thought this was pretty interesting and want a deeper dive on the topic, there's some really great videos out there that do a better job covering absolutely everything to as deep of an extent as possible. I for one recommend Nolly's Payday Lore video, I'll link it in the description. It's really, really expertly done if you have a few hours to spare. If you enjoyed what you watched, please let me know if you're interested in other videos like this one, and if so, what you'd like to see covered. Uh, you'd also be really cool if you considered subscribing, and even cooler if you dropped by to visit me at twitch.tv slash underscore part at some point. I play a lot of this horrendously addicting game. Okay, bye!